get this party started. Let's get it started. <laughs> Are you there, dork? Are you okay? No. <laughs> wow. Hello, Graham C. Hello, Flash Rooney Dork. Yeah, we've butchered my name so many ways that nobody <laughs> even knows what what comes after Flash. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was actually the most important part of the alias when I started using it. Yeah, you was somebody. That's right, because I wanted to be somebody. I want to be somebody. But nobody remembers that I'm Flash somebody. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's because you're such a dork. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Okay, say hey to the people. Hey to the people. There, anything else you want me to say? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, jokes already, huh? It's going to be one of those days. Uh, your insane daily life just makes me giggle. Just a sec. Yeah, I had but to... are you a, a member in good standing of today's modern civilization? Because <laughs> I'm telling you, if the system ain't fucking you, you ain't in it. <laughs> civilization. I love that. I love that. That's that's a good one. <laughs> it's, it's a, it, it's a, the AMA is a bit reluctant to recognize it as a disease at this time. <laughs> But they're working up to it. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Over here on Twitter. Hey, Twitter. Thanks, Barman, for tweeting us out on Book. I have no idea if anybody's paying attention, and that's okay. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. On uh -oh. Effin' Site. Well, you know, they're, site. they're all busy with busy stuff. I Ooh, see Tessa busy, Cunningham busy. is over here on the Effin' <laughs> Site. Hey, Tessa. And, Tessa Cunningham on yeah. the other side. Uh, and let's see, who <laughs> else? Robert Smith is here, and Estrella is here. Hey, Estrella and Robert Smith. And Grimmy shared us over here. Thank you, Grimmy. Hey, Grimmy. He's the Grim nerd. Yeah, oh, you know, shit. If, he, if he would have been Zimmerman instead of Grimmerman. <laughs> oh, that's true. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, I forgot to change you my name. You were saying hello. Yeah, I was I saying know. hello, but I forgot to change my name to Gramsie Dork. Uh, Gramsie Dork just... and Dozy Dork and Little Lambs Eat Ivy. Okay. Wow. <laughs> pushing buttons like a normal Saturday. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what's going to happen here. Push this. <laughs> Watch me okay. pull a rabbit out of my hat. <laughs> hey, you know, you know who left before we even came on to say goodbye? Who... I saw that. It's so I sad. I was so hurt. Oh, he made me go, oh, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Save me all the trouble of going, hey, fucker, why don't you leave? <laughs> yeah. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Yeah, what a way yeah, to yeah. track people to listen to a radio program. <laughs> yeah, by the way, you are listening to The Dork Table here on reallibertymedia.com, channel 3, and all kinds of other <laughs> RLM and Eminem places. And thank you, Barman, for sharing us out all over the place and letting people know that you can also listen on Spreaker. But Baker. if you want to give us static, come on over to the RLM chat at reallibertymedia.com. Think of a nickname. Join the chat. Give us some shit. It, we'll give it back, and probably so will everyone else in the chat, because that's the way we roll. So, um, let's see, Twitter, Facebook, Freedoms Network, Minds. I shared it over on Minds, and I don't think anybody's paying attention over there either, but that's okay. Unless wow. I've been here, yep, I've been here 2017. Hi, I've been here 2017. How you doing Bye. over there on Minds? Minds. Oh, they're mines. over on the mines dot com. Very good. Yes, and if you don't mind, it don't matter. <laughs> Cause it's all mind about, over matter. I cared about something once. You did? It was it was green. <laughs> did it oh. <laughs> And you know the first thing that popped into my head? Uh, it was no. not weed, it was boogers. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, I see the therapy's not going anywhere with you. <laughs> no, I think I broke my therapist. <laughs> well, 
that's it's okay. something to be proud of, isn't it? I think it is. Hey, I broke my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What an accomplishment. Oh, look. <laughs> Rob Works is firing up the bubbler. Speaking of hey, Rob Works, bubble. over here in the RLM, right up top, we got Barman. Oh, oh. Most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world. Closely followed by Cowboy Tech, who's always hearing pleasant voices. Always. I have he I need some of them hearing aids. Um I also see Grimner, who is the RLM God, and the lovely Moose Girl has joined us. Yay, Moosey! Grimner and the Moose Girl both at the dork table at the same time. Grim and Moose. <laughs> spies. They are Russian spies. Grim and moose is much better than moose and squirrel. <laughs> wow. We've really done it, haven't we? <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> uh, okay. Now you see how easy it was for me to break my therapist. Okay, I also see the lovely Kate is here, as well as Trust Hello, No One. Kate. Yeah. Hello, Trust No One. Asmo. And oh, Beth Z. Wow, yeah, and Chalcedony. Chalcedony. Double dip and a Chloe going on in Chloe, the house. Chloe. Yeah. And I'm here, kind of, sort of. And I be Don C. Yeah, I be Don C is here as well yeah, as the Woik version. He's yeah, doing a. And double dipping. Yeah, he's multiplicit. Multi uh, but he's doing that. <laughs> they're coming out of the walls like mosquitoes. I know. It's scary. Are they GMO mosquitoes? I don't know. It's, if they're coming out of walls, that's not what mosquitoes are supposed to do. That'd be badass. <laughs> they're supposed to use the door like everybody else. Oh, well, damn it. Damn it. I also see Java, 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 Java. Yeah, Whoa. the new and improved yeah. version, and JJ's. Hey, J, what J, J's nine J's. J's. Yep, yep, JJ's, yeah. JJ's. J's. Yeah, all those things all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, and Juana Taco. Juana Taco. I want a taco. Damn it. Uh, hey, I'm having I'm having something else. Oh. Mm. Meister Brower is here. Persuasion. Hey, uh -huh. hey, yo, fucker, how you doing? Hey, Rain is here, as well as RLM Fluky, too. Oh, God, oh, God. here we go. And Rob Works, who fired up the bubbler a couple of times because we needed Rob an extra works. dose. Yes. And Woodman and Woodman underscore. See, we got so many Meister Brows and Woodmans, we just don't know what to do with them all. Yeah, but it's going to make it look like 50 people listen to us. Oh, oh. cool. Holy yeah. crap, and all Can't hurt anything. Well, except for maybe the mental health of the listener. Oh, well, there's that. I do not pay your therapy bills. Sorry. I also see Beetle is here. Beetle! Beetle. <laughs> and Colfax 101. Colfax 101. Yes, 101. I see Dakota. What? And, Dakota. And Dima. Um, and Echelon. Um, and Ferris. Ish. Holy uh, smokes, we got all kind of people that I haven't seen chitty chat. What the hell is going on here? I don't okay. know, but we got a double dip and a flash nasty, too. What the hell? What the hell? And on, Vinny just I, left. I, Vinny. I'm on two computers at the same exact time. Oy. It's magic. It's yeah. magic. Fuck you. Yeah, I've um, got a Linux and i got a Windows computer, so I use, but I was using the Linux and forgot to log off. <laughs> oops. I also see yeah. Frumpy2 is here. Too. I know. It's like, dude, two of them? Wow. Yeah, one of them was enough. Jeez, two. <laughs> I also see Kozu. Never buy retail, Goyam. <laughs> Kozu and Meister Brower, too. Okay, that's four. That's four wow. of him. That's uh, I, can, I have four fingers on that hand. Man, our ratings are going to go through the roof. I know. Roof, roof. Hi. Oh, damn. And then may the pox be with you. Pox box and poxified and poxophone and pox a home. Wow. Just all kinds of a multipliers. Lot of, a lot of poxes. Bill Gates would be proud. I also see pond sauce. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> and Skittle. We got Skittles. It's pond sauce and Skittles. I what know. Taste the rainbow. And <laughs> no, I ain't putting that in my mouth. What do I look like? Some kind of Hansel? 
Ooh. We, no, and, I have my limits. Uh. And now we have the Phantom of the RLM. <laughs> it's the Phantom. I'm going to go hide. The Phantom's here. Uh. Ah! Oh, well. Hey! Help, help. Stop I made Phantom. it through. Yay! Uh. Yay! Uh. Yay! You made it ding, through. Ding, I know. Twelve ding. minutes. Thirteen minutes. The lucky thirteen. I know. I'm an overachiever. So, now you get a free um, lube job on your car if you ever need one, from the good folks down at the place you used to work. You just tell them Flash sent you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and when they're done laughing, they'll feel so bad about how they didn't buy you a Christmas card that they'll do your lube job for free. Wow. It's like a premonition. It's like reading your the future. Hmm. Not a lot of people can read the future. No, because the print is really small. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even read the present. I'm going to read the future. <laughs> yeah, I, I've tried to tell people, I think I know what's going on. And what I think is going on is so sickening that I don't want to think about what's going on. <laughs> I think I know, I think so I know, I think. I hmm? think what I think is, is. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. Yeah, if I think it's so, it's so. I would have wish you in the cornfield you'd be sorry. <laughs> oh. Don't, don't make me do it. <laughs> okay. Like, like the Twilight Zone when the little boy wished him to the cornfield because they were mean. Yes. You're a bad man. You have bad thoughts, and I'm going to wish you to the cornfield. Bat, boom, gong. You're gone. a very <laughs> bad man. I want to do that. I want to wish people to the cornfield when I don't like them. Just go, poof, you're gone. Ooh, that's uh, evil. I could do that in my mind, right where I'm sitting. <laughs> Ooh, that's like totally creepy, dude. Hey, you can call it mental illness if you want, or... But, hey, I think it's just having a good giggle. Oh. Oh. Okay. Do you ever, do you ever listen to the, any of the uh, UCY people, the local yokels? Well, not even local, but there's a guy in Canada, a lot of guys in Canada, I think. <laughs> Might be a Canada-based thing. A Kanukistan <laughs> thing? Anyway, there's a Canadian guy. Mm -hmm. His name is Ray Stevens, and he does a podcast on UCY. Ah. And I, he's got a real small group like us because he's so anti-establishment. But he's physically a part of the establishment. But he's the part that's not willing to be liberal and bend over and take it up the ass. Hmm. Not a very popular stand to have in this life right now. Ooh. Yeah, the government want you to bend over a table and just let them do what they want. And if you don't, they threaten you. Hmm. They will make your life a living uncomfortability. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> living uncomfortability. Okay. Yeah. Forever. Forever. Or at Whatever's least the rest of your life. Forever. When you get to forever, you still got shit to do. That's how long the government's going to do this. Well, isn't that what it's designed to do? Well, I've tried to explain that to people for like, I don't know, a few days. Oh. And, you know, the, the general consensus has always been and will always be that I am out of my, what is it? Uh, mind. My cons piracy pick in mind. And I don't know what I'm talking about. I have no idea. And I'm clueless. Shit like that. Damn it. Damn it. Because I don't know the true understandable meaning of the word anarchy. If I only understood what anarchy really was, I would be a Republican instead. <laughs> you would? No, that's the story I, I hear, you know, from the people that have tried to entice me into their religious or political system. Of belief. Oh, hey. We always said the same thing, no matter how bad it looked at the time. They are so, enticing you. Uh, and you think I'm the one that's out of my fucking mind, and you just told me all that? <laughs> mm. Whoa. <laughs> 
Who's on drugs now, Bosco? <laughs> uh, I, I'm i on drugs because I just finished drinking some coffee. But, but uh, the, w- let's see. Grimner says to me, wouldn't you think the, that anti-establishment radio people would have a larger audience than those mainstream dumbass fucks? Uh, <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I would expect... I expect what we have. I believe that the game is designed and executed so fucking well, the people that suffer the worst from it don't know they're suffering from anything. They think their life is wonderful and they're in tune with everything. They got it all together. So, mm. they're just using the wrong things to in to gauge life's success at. Oh, uh, well that, yeah. 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 And we all have been. I've played that freaking money game, for crying out loud. That's why I, where I'm at now with it all. I don't. Eh, you can have it. You can have mm. all of it. If there was a billionaire giving money away, I wouldn't call him and ask him for any. Could care less. Hmm. Well, hmm. I don't. I don't. I don't want to go there. I don't want to. I don't want to go talk to any of them. Their people. Right. Exactly. And see that that's the the weirdest part about this society that we live in, is the people that are doing the most fucking harm are the ones that have all the money. And these people that don't have anything look up to these other people that got everything and praise them like they're they've done something because. They own something. <laughs> well, they obsess over them. That it's insane. Be... Oh, fucking bay. We just got finished uh, with a little mm, international um, butt slapping. Who got their butt slapped? The Syrians again. Again? Yeah. I had, see, I the haven't been paying attention. The surgically, what do they call it? Uh, implemented flights were you know they hit all their targets and they were all perfect and yeah yeah ugh, yeah yeah, yeah. that's his story yeah. and he's sticking well, to it yeah yeah, see, yeah 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 but that's because your average joe is so indoctrinated that they believe all this shit and bring it to the re- this level of reality by participation mm. Mm. and like i have told you in the past you cannot even run for a public office in America if you're an anti-Semite. Blah blah. blah. All that means is you don't you don't support the Jews. So if you don't support the fucking Jews, then you can't get in the game. Whoa, that kind of makes the game a little bit tighter, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Uh, my butt was not created for that. No, thank you very much. Go away, oh, I am busy, oh. See, and I I do my best to keep my butt from being exposed too awful much to their. Right, but if you speak up against the Jews, what what are you really fucking saying anyway? It, you know, in the long run, it's just a bunch of bullshit, jibber jabber. With this identifies that for this group, and that group's happy because they heard these magic words, and and the game just continues and drags on and on and on, never ends. Yeah. Well, you've done your little bit with your oils and whatnot to find out what the fuck have they been hiding from them, you all your whole life. Mm-hmm. And I remember being one of those hard-ass mofos that would get in your face and tell you, Mary, you don't see the whole thing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> There's more to it. Well, <laughs> unfortunately... We're all only able to understand what we, we've been taught to understand. Yeah. Where, where does all this belief and understanding and shit like that come from in the first place? Somebody had to give it to you. Mm. Mm. I did not come popping out the fucking womb a crazy religious fanatic or a political fanatic. True. I came out of the fucking womb dripping and, you know, slobbering all over the place like everybody fucking else. So that means that from that moment, whatever I know today was taught to me by somebody fucking else. I didn't bring anything with me. Ability, maybe. 
You know? mm. Ooh, hey, they're playing games over in the RLM. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Oh, go rub an Englishman. Ooh. Wow. Hey. I'm half English, by the way. But hey, don't tell my wife that I said that on the radio. She'll get mad at me. <laughs> She'll say, oh, are you shooting your mouth, off, mouth all off again? Damn Yankees. But if you shoot your mouth off, then how are you going to speak? You no longer have a Twice. mouth. Hmm. Magic. That's it's magic. The radio. You can't. You can't even see what hole I'm talking out of. By God and country. <laughs> I could be doing my best impression of Donald Trump right now, talking out my ass, and you wouldn't know it because you can't see. Ooh, okay. Hmm. So, do you, do you really believe that politicians talk out their ass? I've seen it happen. It's not a pretty picture. Do you know what I believe? What? I believe that politicians have people that tell them what to say and oh. how to say it. Yeah. Well, there and is that to say too. it. And mm -hmm. what inflections to use on which words in which sentence. Yes. But most important of everything is they are owed a definition. What does the definition of is is? <laughs> mm. I can't even it's so fucked up I can't even say it again. I, that depends on what the definition of is is. <laughs> it mm, depends. Here we are talking about them adult diapers again. Again. Well, that's Mary, and that's because not not so much I'm not gonna accuse the, the folk that catch the dork table. I think those those dorky people get it. But I'd say new, newer people or people that are still working, living a normal, you know, the normal life. Ooh, is that a reality show? The normal life. Well, see, uh, well, I don't know what to, how uh, other, any other way to put it. You know, the family thing where you, the normal stuff that we were raised with that have, has all been erased. Mm. I hate when somebody else breaks out the eraser. Yeah, but they've been doing it for years, just taking a big eraser and just rubbing shit out and marring it beyond recognition. You can't even see what you're looking at anymore. It just looks like a big pile of shit. Yeah, you know what the difference is between a horny toad and a and a regular toad, right? Uh, a buck and seventy. No, a regular nope. one says ribbit, ribbit, Night ribbit, look. and a horny toad uh, says rub it, rub it, rub it. Uh, uh, <laughs> No, I don't even know why I would have thought that. <laughs> no, see, that's what I mean is they've softened guys up so much now that they think like women. <sighs> Do you think like a woman? I don't think you think like a woman. I wasn't talking about me. Yeah, but you're a guy. Yeah. Or maybe and... you're not. Are you Are you not a guy? What are you? <laughs> Right. <laughs> You're a flash. That's what you are. That's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. <that. laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Well, I know that you you were videoed. You were on the. We did our wedding at the dam on the Skype thing. Mm -hmm. It was the funniest fucking day. I swear. Yeah, we're coming up on an anniversary here Monday. If I live that long, four years. Yeah, four years still. Circle wow. has said, hey. Yeah, she still likes you. What still, the heck? Not. She hasn't poisoned one cup of coffee yet. Dang. I'm doing better than usual. Yes, you are. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> you haven't lived until you've poisoned my coffee. <laughs> oh, well. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. Well. That's what, yeah, if you say so, that's how we live. Mm -hmm. We live on people telling you stories about shit with no fucking proof. And there's a, uh, really the uh, Rebels at the Roundtable show I listen to. Mm -hmm. Those people are so Republican and so indoctrinated in their side of the game that they're beyond angry. I don't even know what to call it. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Well, I still, you know, I I will listen to the other side. That way I know what they're fucking talking about. And hmm. I, this is not out of a left-right. It's more out of a political, wow, the right's losing their minds too. It's not just the left that's insane. <laughs> it's all of you. 
Oh, we're all insane. Jeez. You haven't uh, figured you that out yet? Memo. Yes, okay. I did. Mm. Yeah. Si, senor. And yeah. I haven't seen anybody go and attack North Korea or Iran, but Syria. Go figure. I know, but, you know, they they drew the short straw. You know, they're the ones that, damn it all. You know, Who they, drew the short straw? Syria did. Cause, How? What did they do to anybody? Well, they were breathing. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. 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 The fuckers <laughs> and they're breathing? I know. It's just so wrong. Well, they don't have to pay a breathing tax. They're like we did in the States, though. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, yeah. So I'm listening to the dark tip. Oh, the dark tip. I woke up at like 530 in the morning out here in Denmark. Mm-hmm. And it was like sun. Well, it's the time zones shifted and all that. So now the day long days are coming. Mm-hmm. So it gets up very bright or very early. And I have not adjusted the room to sort this out yet. And I woke up and I went, hey, I think I'll go downstairs and listen to the Freakers Ball and see what's going on. Cool. Yeah, well, it, they're in, stuck in the same boat we're in. What boat's that? Are you guys, are yeah. you up shit crick without a paddle? Did somebody throw that damn paddle out again? No, damn it. The people, that, the people that don't think they're up shit creek without a paddle are. And the ones that think they are aren't. It's all backwards. It's the opposite of what's real. We're mm. we're just being deceived in ways that you can't explain to other people. They either you know it or you don't. See, like and the I don't, medicine and the banking. I don't and have a that, paddle, but I have a rudder, so I I try and steer to avoid uh, the bigger turns. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. I know. Oh yeah, I know. Well, you know, Syria and Israel, they should just that's what I was saying earlier, Rob. You cannot criticize israel or you lose your political or uh, religious status it's a fucking rigged game and the, the cunts that are running it doing all the fucking horrible shit are the ones you can't you can't talk bad about oh well, yeah yeah those who control you are the ones that you cannot say anything against right and you know okay so you can say say it on rlm or maybe in the chat room or something but not at a level of public that it's going to get an audience and yeah, if but, you do you'll be insulting somebody and end up in court over it or jail why should i care about the rest of the audience if they're not ready to hear it it's not going to make it i could be sitting here going wah 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 i charlie brown cartoons Care. were wow. such epiphanies you know, just just from looking at the way that the teachers talked and everything, and all the kids, you understood all the kids, but all the adults, it was wah 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 wah, and that's that's pretty much what a lot of this shit is for me anymore. That's how I hear them is wah 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 wah, wah or as Circle says it, yada 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 yada, blah blah blah. That's whoa. You know, that's, no, and she can listen in two different channels. Yeah, and she can listen in two different languages, too, at least. Well, more, no, she speaks more now. Yeah. But, eh. Mm. Oh, and then you have these arguments with people about stuff that, like, I know shit third party because I've lived in Denmark for four fucking years, mm -hmm. you know? So you hang around people and you learn stuff about the way they are and how they behave and da-da-da-da-da. Mm -hmm. But you can't explain it to somebody else that can't see it. They got... A verbal explanation does not do its service when you no. try to tell other folk what people are like where you live. Because eh, we're all the same, but then socially we're not. Yeah. When it comes to social activity, that's where the changes start to happen. You know? They start splitting us up so we're easier to herd. Yeah. Small groups. Yeah. And then when you have a big fucking group. Oh, uh, remember... Uh, some fucking baseball team won a World Series. I was the only one disappointed. Everybody else was, oh, they won a World Series and nobody smashed a window. Oh, how nice. And I was like, wait a minute. They had millions of people get together and all they got out of it was nobody nobody had a, a, a physical problem from it. Instead of taking that opportunity to tell everybody, hey, the pot thing's a big lie and this is how you prove it. <laughs> 
a, a two million person audience is what it would take. And when you have that kind of fucking audience at one time, people squander it on bullshit stories that don't matter. But they matter to them. Oh, crying out fucking loud. No, they do. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, I know you're... they do. That we were talking before the show about it, eh? Mm hmm. <laughs> I know. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just confused by it because it doesn't appeal to me. Yeah, but see, to some people, and that's that's a truly sad statement. When you when you have something like major like that go on, and and the big news headline is, and they didn't break any windows. Whoa! I mean, that's supposed to be like a uh, yeah. common sense kind common, of thing. Normal, yeah, that's what you're supposed to fucking do out there in the real world. You dumbasses you're not supposed Make to be a... going around busting up everybody else's shit just because you're happy that your team won and that you know mm. that that was the one thing that wow when when i saw they trashed a place because their team won it's like dude okay. i would and hate to see you, what right. it looks and like if how, if your team how lost do you know who trashed what place i don't there you go. That's what I've been arguing about ever since we started the dork table. And they tell you stories that fit the fucking story they want you to hear. Yes. And in the end, it's always bullshit. Mm -hmm. I mean, global fucking warming for crying out loud. And when you would argue the damn uh, the points of it with your statist minded people or your, you know, um, I don't know what to call them. The ones that are trying to fit in, they yeah. don't want to be different. They they're, want to be part yeah. of the bigger thing. Yeah, they're going along to get along. Oh, God. What a bunch of fucking weenies. Weenies! I said it. You heard it here first. I called them weenies. And yet they would probably call you the same thing or worse. Who cares? Well, see, <clears throat> if you don't care Calling what they call them. Then... what that was about in the first place. I'm frustrated because the truth is right in front of your freaking face and you cannot see you're supporting this. This is what you want. Wow, what a fucking mess. Mm hmm I mean, have you ever done any research in the derivatives market? No, because it doesn't interest me. Well, I'll tell you what. The derivatives market is the reason that they use this world food shortage shit on us. Okay. All right. And if you're interested in why that, how that works, read about it. <laughs> you didn't seem interested. Well, no. And see, but, that's but, that's just like a lot of other people. When you start telling them about the uh, uh, the Fed is a privately owned whatever, mm. or the government mm. is nothing but a control Bank mechanism, control. that your that your tax dollars don't go to pay for anything. They don't even cover the interest on the just debt. On the t yeah, there's you know, no such all thing that, as money. You know, you can, you can tell people all kind of stuff till you turn blue in the face, and if they don't want to hear it, if they aren't <laughs> ready to hear it, they ain't going to hear it. Isn't that wonderful? It's just like magic, only better. Yeah, it's magic. Mm. Fuck you. So, but they're cool with, um, like, the end of the world's things coming. You know, I've been hearing that since, good Lord, 1971, I think. The end of the world. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've had the longest end of the world that anybody could, I mean, unless you've had it too. But Oh, yeah. They've been oh, yeah. telling me, oh, this is the end forever. Oh, this is what's going to do us in. So what yeah. it made me do is look for the things that will fix it. What's wrong now can be fixed, but you got to stop all the shit you're doing and change. And that's where it won't work. Well, We've got no cooperation out of the people. Oh, yeah, well, Very we aren't we aren't going to fix the world. You don't, don't have to. If you fix one person the way my program works perfect for everybody, I know it. If it was lived in honesty, it wouldn't be executed in dishonesty. It's just fucking a con of common sense. Well, yeah. If you don't live in a lie, you, you're telling the truth, and you got nothing to be afraid of, nothing to lose. All these imaginary fucking ghosts are all man-made, so we'll live like this. Yeah. Using oil. Using fucking oil. You go, oh, that's not all. Yeah, to me it is. So not to you. Okay. We, we have come to an impasse. We must... Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe deep. deep. <gasps> <laughs> I'm just 
just I'm just saying, you know, it's, you see it the same way I do, but the expression of it, it makes it seem different. The, you know, the bigger, broader picture. Yeah. Mm. Well, I've given up on the idea of the, the world fig, figuring this out and doing anything about it. But I like to talk about it. And I mean, it's like going down on the Titanic. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Yeah, but when you talk about it, you're giving it energy. Dang, well, crud. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. See you, I cowboy. I will you to a game of ten words. Oh, okay. Now you're in trouble, little missy. <laughs> and... Becky, I am, has joined. Becky! Hey, Becky, just in time for the ten words, so me and Mary will stop fighting about the world. Yeah. The world is still the world, no matter what we think about it. Yeah. All right. Now... Should I make it 11 words? No, we'll make it 10. 10 to be 10. 10. Okay, now. Plus one. (laughs) What? What I... Well, yeah, it could be 10 plus one. Because I got 11 (laughs) words. But But, on the good side, mm -hmm. I I stole it from Bob Newhart skit. Sweet. Mm. I'm using the 10 words to stop it. For our game of word misassociation at the dork table. Yay! Word numero uno is A. B. Oh, (laughs) that was easy. (laughs) A, B. I have you got a B in your bo- Hey, shush, Hannibal. In my backside? No. My dog's going all (laughs) ape shit over something. It's She's it's like, the B. I I conjured it up. Hey, like B? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <sighs> that didn't work out so well. <laughs> <laughs> Word numero two o. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> I didn't know I was going to say that. It. Bill. Bill. It Bill? Yeah. It Bill. The hell does it Bill mean? (laughs) What is that? Some kind of communist, like, secret (laughs) word or something? I never heard it Bill. A Bill is an it. A Bill is, oh, a Bill. Okay, Bill is also the guy that changes the thermometers on the things. Yeah, yeah, and he's also Hmm. the one that argues about what the definition of is is. So, you know, it is Bill. I was trying to be funny and more random than this. Did, uh, <laughs> it, it, it Bill? Uh, bill it. And I'm the one. And I'm the one that smokes pot. So. Oh, just I, bill it. <laughs> well, I have listened to the playbacks of the prod, of the broadcast. Uh, Pro- of the pod, <laughs> and, and Freudian slip, I'm sure. Anyway, of the broadcast. From the podcast. Yeah, that thing. too. Hey, free yeah. enslaved, welcome back. <laughs> uh, and the word of number three is or. Shit crick. Okay, I know that. Or that's... shit crick? Yeah. Or. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, or shit crick. That's a choice, huh? Crick. It, I wonder what, what a crick is. What have you In your neck? Got a... <laughs> Oh, that's a some a shitty crick. <laughs> it's a crick in your neck, and it's a shitty crick. Okay, yeah, got but or is another uh, word for uh, paddle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> See, I'm being very obscure. <laughs> I, I would hope so. It will make the game more interesting. Well, you. I mean, s- if you're just run of the mill and boring, it'd be like, who want to play it? Well, you said word association. First thing pops into my head. That's what did. I so. said word misassociation. Well, okay, miss- I'm really, attention again? I'm really misassociating then, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> word number five is Barry. <laughs> Dangle. <laughs> Dangle. <laughs> oh, no shit. Are you still stuck on Obamia? No. <laughs> no, I'm not stuck on you. Uh, that's what? a dangleberry. 
okay. It's, it's stuck on that, you. <laughs> for hmm? for what whatever this wor- is worth, there's there's an audience of people out there that support him to this day just because of his skin color. Oh, have I know. Not one fucking idea when you try to explain to him, them what he's done. <laughs> they don't want to know that. <laughs> he oh. was the first black president. <laughs> and see, they don't they don't even get the whole concept of them calling everybody else out as being racist for not no, voting for right. him and yet they yeah, voted for, for him because guy, yeah. of his skin color. color. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's it's a Hence what I always say to mm-hmm. everything, it's all bullshit. Yeah, pretty that much. Way, that way, don't rip off Rob because you know I like Rob's better, but and they all I suck. I know, <laughs> but I'm not me. I want to write my own shit. Lollipop, lollipop, boo, lolly, lolly, lolly. Go ahead. <laughs> Fucking lost control of the co-pilot here. This Sucker. is your captain speaking. We. <laughs> We are suffering from duck withdrawal at on in the cockpit. The yep. co-pilot it will stand by. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Just kind of went. Ooh, hey, Rob okay. is smoking his meat. <laughs> wow. It just gets weirder as the day goes on. Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. he got a news meat smoker. That's what, <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. Well, no, you didn't. You said it. See what I mean? You wordsmith. You dirty girl. You take these simple little things and you just bend them just enough. If you're not really paying attention, which most people don't really do anyway, they don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But. <laughs> Just a little tweak here, a little tweak there. Okay. <laughs> Burry dangle. There you go. Oh. I, I, okay. Word number seven. Where's number In. six? Burry. Oh, I thought that was five. Never mind. That was six. Oh, okay. Never mind. And you whack a doodle. <laughs> wow. So it's like herding cats. <laughs> cats are easier. Jeez. Okay. It's like herding mental patients. Does that make you feel better? Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, mental illness or drug addiction? What a choice. Uh, <laughs> decisions. Decisions. <laughs> Reverend Jim Taxi. <laughs> that guy had a great outlook on life. Yes, Chloe, it's called a smoker. I prefer to call it a meat smoker, which can be a personal problem, but eh, you're moving along. <clears throat> you dirty girl. <laughs> Still haven't said anything. I said the word three fucking oh, times. Oh, what, what was the word? The I'm sorry. In. And the sequel word is... I N. <laughs> I N I N in like in Cognito. Not like Bob Newhart's in, but <laughs> Cognito. That's got it. Oh, Cognito. Oh, okay. I was paying attention anymore. <laughs> uh, he's he's definitely. one of the X Men. <laughs> oh, like like when I try to cleverly disguise my online self by using a different name in the R L M. Uh huh. <laughs> Doesn't like. <laughs> well, but I use my most, you know, polished, stealthy moves, and I'm always found out. They yeah. always figure it out. Oh, I know. <sighs> it's so hard to be stealthy in this modern day world. Hey, Becky says that hurting mental patients is quite easy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, what have we started now? <laughs> easy. Well, yeah, you just. Go to uh, just go to a rock concert or a hospital, <laughs> or a police station or a church, yeah, or maybe a Street grocery corner. store. Hey, Walmart's pretty big. Hey, Hannibal, shut up. <coughs> Walmart's pretty big on that kind of stuff. They like shocking the public with their, you know, wild ways. Well, you know, because they have a dress code there. <laughs> yeah, but you know what they got? They got girls that'll go in the store dressed and then have somebody take a picture of them with their clothes on but up or around. 
Ew. <laughs> or semi near. <laughs> Haven't you ever watched the pictures of the uh, weirdo people of Walmart? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. I've never been that drunk. <laughs> yeah, I haven't either. I just, I just look at those. I I no wonder <laughs> what you know. Did you? Did I miss a class? <laughs> <laughs> I missed a couple of decades. <laughs> what the fuck happened between two thousand and now? It's yeah. like a. It, it's like I've been asleep or something, and and all of a sudden I opened my eyes and it's there, but it's it's really not there. <laughs> yeah, I. I see those and I go, do you not own a mirror? Do you not have a friend? <laughs> you must have a very sad uh, existence. Speaking <clears throat> of Minds.com, I was surfing uh, uh, over there just the other day. And I seen a link about the horrible situation in Norway. And uh, one of the comments under it was, I live here and I'm telling you this is a bullshit uh, link. <laughs> just like what I say. Is mm-hmm. I live here, and half the shit you get told is Bullshit. exaggerated, nonsense, just made up lies. Oh yeah. But most of it's just exaggerated. They or they'll take a city and make it a countrywide epidemic, and every fucking. But then how come there's nobody going rampant shooting anybody? Or you know they got guns in Europe, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Trying to tell me all these German guys are just laying around while their women get raped by gangs of black guys from some other country and nobody does anything about it. Uh, I wouldn't tell you that. Well, that's what I read on the internet. Well, then it must be true. Oh, here we go. It must be true. Well, it may be in some reality. Wow. Hey, would you do a mind meld with hands and when you get back, tell me what it looked like? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> there are some things I just won't do. <laughs> well, uh, what color is the sky on your planet? I haven't decided. It's not even noon yet. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Not even noon yet for me. Noonya. Word number eight. Okay. Box. Cat. <laughs> You're thinking all backwards. <laughs> box cat. Cat box. Wow. Remember that cartoon cat dog? Mm, no. Wow. What? I thought you were a victim of grandchildren and such. What? I am. Were you telling stories? You don't know who cat dog is? Oh my no, goodness. I do not know who cat well, dog you is. You have YouTube right in front of you. I don't and want to. Yeah, but you're licensed to drive. And I think you should open Cat Dog and see what Cat Dog is. <laughs> because you're worth it. <laughs> oh, now I really don't oh, want to go there. Yeah, because he's just a little cat dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a very clever cartoon. And uh, my daughter used to make me watch it with her. Ah, uh, ooh. And, and the funny thing about when you let your kids do shit like that to you, it kind of softens you and you start to like the shit that you're, you know, so that it's not such a chore. You start to really like the shit you're watching with the kids. Mm, <laughs> I yeah. do. Not all of it. I mean, but Cat Dog was memorable. Well, I remember Ren and Stimpy and that pretty much traumatized me for life, so. <clears throat> wow. That traumatized you. Wow, little Missy, you. Mm. Ren you and Stimpy a- was weird. Yeah, so so was Bugs Bunny and um Yeah, but that was death, my death. kind of weird. That was my kind of weird. I grew up with that kind of weird. Oh. 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 It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. What's the next word? What's the secret word? The, next, the secret word is stop. Me. Me? Yeah. Before I play again. <laughs> Stop me. <laughs> you said misassociation. I'm misassociating. Uh, you are doing a very good job, let me tell you. <laughs> wow. And we made it through nine words and we're still we're still talking. So <laughs> give it your best there, Bosco. All right. 
and the tenth. And wow, this is a weird ten word game. Mm-hmm. You know that? I mean, mm-hmm. how do you even do? Well, you're kind of hard to call weird. <laughs> Because <laughs> I enjoy it. <laughs> oh, over the years of my experience with you tells me, well, but somehow you found a new way. <laughs> <laughs> the last and final word for the Ted Word challenge is alive. Oh, and I just drew a blank. Uh, <laughs> I, that's your answer? <laughs> uh, sure, what the heck? Blank. I drew a blank. I... Drew a blank wow. with colored pencils. How now, do you see, how now, do you draw blank with a colored pencil? I don't know, but mm-hmm. I'm going to submit this page to my psychiatric team of professionals for a, a swift evaluation. Ah, that way we will know what to do with you and your kind. Ah, well, see, then you will see just exactly how easy it was for me to break my therapist. (laughs) Well, first, you must be identified. Then you must be sorted. And then you must be shelved. Oh, but what if if I'm past my expiration date? (sighs) Oh, the FDA has ways. Don't worry about that shit. Oh, do they rotate the stock? (laughs) <laughs> rotate it yeah that's what they do <laughs> yeah. with a big eraser and they change the date on the thing and you go wow look at that date it looks like today ah uh-huh uh-huh hey today's the day Woo! for what 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 it is what? it's Wait. i don't know but it's the day for whatever Why is moose girl putting nasa launches spacecraft to mars wow <laughs> Because no, they're not. They're not going to Mars. I don't know. Okay. Where was Iceland? <sighs> That's where it was. Yeah. They found they found the place in Iceland that matches perfectly with all mm. of those Mars rover pictures. It's like, of course Dee. they did. Wait a minute. You cannot steal from people unless you tell them that you're not stealing from them. It makes it easier to steal from them. Yeah. Wink, when wink, their, nod, their money's nod. being invested into a future that's good for everybody. Except you (laughs) (laughs) or anybody that you happen to know or do business with. But everybody else, they will be good. I mean, how many fucking morons does it take to figure out everybody's getting fucked? What could the problem be? Hmm. Could it be the existence of government in our life? Nah, that couldn't be it. That's too too obvious. (laughs) (laughs) It's got to be something sneakier than that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I you know what I read on the thing on mines last week about uh-uh. pissed myself when I read it. What's that? People want Hillary Clinton to be responsible for her crimes against humanity and they want her punished. <laughs> it's good to want, it's healthy to want. Don't mean you're gonna get. That's what my mom always says. Well, I got a question for you. Has anybody taken a good look at Hillary lately? <laughs> Ooh. I, I think the punishment has already been done. <laughs> I have you seen don't this have woman. to worry anymore. Look at her. Hey. Right. Okay. It just the vision of her as she is now and will always be at least that bad, if not getting worse, should be your that that is her punishment. Mm. They can't even put her in front of a camera and show her off anymore. She's beyond Whatever she's got is bad. Whatever it is. She's not coming back and she's not going to ever be punished for whatever she did. And she's got more money than God. So good luck finding her. Well, you know why she's got more money than God? Because God don't need no money. God don't need a circular driveway. She's got more money than God because she fucking stole it from all the people that earned it. Well, there's that too. That's how they do you. They Ooh. steal it from you, but because of your upbringing and your indoctrination in school, you're okay with that because that's illegal. No, it ain't. Legal Ooh. was rewritten to fit the crime they're doing to you. Do it to me, baby. Uh, 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 uh. Do it to me, baby. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm... Pretty sure this is going to get a thumbs down from the boss. (laughs) 
think asking would be just going a little too far. <laughs> so, you're on your own there, Mary, but thanks for thinking of me. <laughs> wow. What a weirdo. <laughs> I don't know if I meant me or you. Or, hey, somebody in this duet's out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it's you just because I'm talking. <laughs> if you were talking, you'd probably do the same. So, eh. well, yeah. Have fun. That's. Mm-hmm. Did, did we? Did I bring the? I brought that up to you before. I will. I'll leave the names out to protect the innocent. <laughs> but I was talking to somebody mm-hmm. that I know very well, a mm-hmm. lot of bunch. A lot of bunch. Yeah, and I was informed that this is all a big nothing. Ooh. Yep. I went, wow, and what criteria did you use to come to your decision, their little missy that I won't mention by name? And she said, I just said so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and so wow, therefore it for is. Me. I went, I, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the point of it is, is whatever you decide it is, it is. Yeah. That's all. But we got all this input from the outside sources like the moon rovers and the banking system and the clergy and the history fuckers and all the people that have just done us over and over and over like toast. And when you stand up and you say, I ain't going to do that, they got shepherds that call you, call you names or dismiss you for your eccentricity mm. Mm. So because have... if you think the cop is your friend I got something here to show you it's in my pocket come here I don't want to know I'm telling you that, don't give me I mean, no lines the... and keep your hands to yourself you mm. bastard yeah but it's easy to say that but the cops do not ask permission goody two shoes out there in the real world that's lived a, a decent life doesn't know what these fucking psychos have been trained to do over the last 20 years. Hmm. They don't get, they're the combatants. They're the enemy. The public is in America now. The general public. Yep. Yeah. Your, your police are pitted against you. You are a problem. Holy shit. When that happened, Batman? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I knew about that a long time ago. Okay, and this is what I'm saying. This is what Grimm says. This is what Moose says, and Rob works, and a group of you know misplaced bizarros that Them, we seem to be. Mm-hmm. Is you know nobody's accountable, but everybody's supportive. And if you're not supportive, then you get the sheep. You know the sheep herders come out to get you. Sheep herder. Mm. Oh, yeah, the guy with the you know the big long stick with the hook thing on it. And we got dork cakes. Back. We got dork cakes. Oh, oh, hello, oh, mighty. Oh, all the way from America. Hey, dork. Yeah. Cakes. Dork it's cakes. cakes. Hmm? It's cakes. Yeah, I I know I know him. I've talked to him over on the other side many times. Mm. Oh, yeah. Me, me and Cakes go back a few years now. So, yeah, I, I've known a few of you people on the inner world uh, for quite a while. Cool. Well, considering the state the world's in, you know, you don't know your neighbors, but you know me on the RLM. <laughs> mm. Wow. What? Just say it. What state is the world in? Is it in Kansas? Or is it in Wisconsin? Russia. Ooh, that's a country. That's not a state. I think it's it's in a state of Israel, but if you fucking argue about it, then you get your ass handed to you. You Uh, can't say that about the Jews. Okay, well, Jews, bankers, you know, whatever the fuck the name is, is just a distraction from the problem. Yeah, we're being screwed, so we can't complain about what's wrong. You joy bastard. Yeah, but, well, you could say that to me on the RLM, but I'll bet you couldn't say it on the uh, evening news. I don't want to be on the evening news. Uh, that's not the point. Uh, see, there you go. <laughs> go on, go on. I was making a good point there. You take my good point and you just squash it like a bug. <laughs> <laughs> squash. 
<laughs> wow, you used to pull the wings off and shit and watch them die. Now you just squash. Well, yeah, yeah. What mm-hmm. what happened to you? you got <laughs> mean. I got mean. <laughs> Mary's oh. become a pirate. Oh. <laughs> Arr. I'm a gonna... pasta fairy, and there's the difference. Uh, oh, are you really? Is wow. Well, I don't it's, know. It's as close to anything that I'll ever be, besides me. I kind of you... like being me. But how can you take life seriously with the choices that are handed to us as choices? Uh oh, great! My cat's getting ready to hack up a hairball. Ugh. Whoa, baby! <laughs> Oh, she's getting all sweet talky on the RLM. I know. Cat balls. It's like, yeah, it. I always like to talk about cat balls. Yep. Every Saturday when I was just a young fellow, my grandpa would say, hey, let's go out to the back 40 and talk about cat balls. And uh, my grandmother would tell him, Get the, put the bottle down and step away from the kid, you weirdo. <laughs> yeah, you freaking weirdo. You weirdo. Don't be doing that to the kids. Did you notice that's how society went over the last 40 or so years? If you're a guy around a child, something's wrong in society. Mm-hmm. What the fuck happened? I don't know. I mean, know. I still see kid, uh, guys walk their kids in the strollers here. You know, the non-driving people that don't participate in automobile traffic. Ah, uh, see my son-in-law drive or does a lot of stuff with the children. Yeah, but they see they've still got that where the guys the guys hang out with the kids and it's normal here. It's not, hey, that guy's a weirdo. Lock, lock the bathroom door. <laughs> oh no. Well, I read about it on the interwebs a lot. Oh, I see how that works. Mm. Apparently. The adults of the world have problems identifying which toilet they belong in. Oh, that's truly sad. And I found a cure for that shit. You did? Yep. Hmm. Three-year-old door monitors. Ooh. Because if a, there's anything a three-year-old knows is when somebody's not being real to them. That's true. They would have a little alarm go off and act strange somehow. And if you knew what to look for, you would see it. Uh-huh. Can't, you can't bribe a three-year-old. No. Well, you could, but only for a little while. And then they forget. It. And then they then see? they tell uh-huh. mom. And, yeah. Ooh, that's what I mean. And then until I think until I was about nine, maybe, I don't think I had a com- Complete understanding of reality and, and fantasy. Oh. What? Hmm. No, you know, where I things just... in life, the, you... what? I don't know, like Santa Claus. And as an example, not that I believed in Santa Claus, but I believed in other things that turned out to be false. And, and just like Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny or any of that crap. Mm hmm. Well, here and here we are. Here you are. And there she was, gone. Did you forget? What? Again. Forget what? It. It? Wow, you're just really doing this word game on me today, aren't you? <laughs> oh, well, you said Santa Claus. And then my computer went kind of weird because my opera is acting weird. So what? What was the, what was the word again? Or was there not a word? And no, there was, but I forgot what we were talking about now. <laughs> you bring it up out of nowhere 15 minutes later. <laughs> oh, cat dog. Oh, cat dog. It's yeah. Okay. To, yeah. But you got to use, um, what do you call it? YouTube to pull the, or maybe Google would do it too. Mm. I think you could get a, a full explanation and a picture so you could see what I'm talking about. But I once had children. That were children, little children, that grew up to be big children. But when they were little children, oh, fuck, some of the shit that happened was just funny as hell. Oh, well, yeah, because little children mm-hmm. are just funny as hell. And the, then you watch them change as, you know, as life pro- progresses. You see the what they started out as and then what they become. Mm-hmm. And how much of that influences from the state, the government, the religion, the this, the that, the... 
the outside forces of society. Ooh, the forces of society. Ooh, those are bad jujus. Well, I know that, and you're kind of making a joke out of it, I suppose, but uh, it's true. Oh, no, I'm not making a joke out of it, but yeah, it, it, they're bad jujus. Oh, uh, very bad. And, then you, know, and you, you know what the one of the biggest cons of the of Jew history is? Uh-uh. Remember that Einstein guy? Uh-huh. With, with the wild hair and all that. And he, he, he was quoted for his theory of relative itty. <laughs> Get it? Mm-hmm. Relative itty. <laughs> yeah. It was a play on words. He was a Jew. You're getting had again. <laughs> I know. I know. It's scary. When did you find out? Wow. I thought I was being the news bringer here today. I can't tell you anything you don't already know. (laughs) (laughs) My socks are gray. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Damn, you've been talking to my wife again. (laughs) I've Uh, tried washing them out. I've tried scrubbing them out, but they're still gray. (laughs) Yeah. Well, you know, I saw a link about um, Syria from a woman reporting from Syria, and some of the tape goes back to 17, I think, maybe even before 16, 17, before they bombed this recent experience bombing uh-huh. thing. Mm-hmm. goes back to a previous, the previous gas attack, and she shows you where where the buildings are relative to each other and explains how this stuff is all basically a fucking fraud. <laughs> Ooh. And how the people were played to go along with the shit that seems that they've gone along with in the press. Well, there's, there's what we're told and then there's what happened Uh (laughs) as usual. And her name is Carla Ortiz. And if you're interested in what the fuck's going on in Syria, look her up on YouTube. It's really good shit. I was impressed. Ooh. Yeah, because I had an individual thought all by myself. Wow. Wow. Right, hon? <laughs> <laughs> Cycles let you have it, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> Did you say, look, honey, I found it. Can I keep it? And she said, yes, you can keep it. <laughs> uh, in my new book, Confession. <laughs> a super hacker <laughs> we will explore all my many tricks on the internet webs ah. can you imagine if i wrote a book about the internet it would be about two words <laughs> silly <Fuck> wabbit <laughs> i don't know i don't get it. i can't think in the uh in the style so to speak of a computer i'm too sporadic i like to jump around i'm not orderly and you know Stand in line and do this button to do that. I like to do a button and then go, well, I wonder what will happen if I push that button. (laughs) (laughs) Well, sports fans and music lovers of the RLM and other places, I would not recommend you do that. (laughs) It never ends well for me. I always have to cry for my wife to bail me out of whatever I did. But problem is I'm, I'm addicted to it <laughs> oh me. i wonder what will happen if i do that <laughs> <laughs> plague me my entire life oh my i'm still here i am all these years later i've still got wow what's gonna happen if i do that <laughs> well it's like this <laughs> Hey, Vinny's uh, putting up a thing about the Texas Rangers. Yeah. The baseball Pony. team? No, the Coppers. Oh. Okay. Same thing anyway. Baseball team, cops, it's all bullshit. Same thing, only different. Yeah, you know, it was like once upon a time when being uh, capable and able to do something special had a, a different kind of value. Uh-huh. Now it's just... Advertising fodder for Coca Cola and Bank of America. Ah, oh, Coca Cola. Yeah, but I support very little of society on a, I don't know, on a social level. <laughs> it's blown up. It's gone. 
it needs to stop. See, and, and what'd you call it? Syphilisiety? <laughs> Syphilisiety, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I like that. S- Syphilisiety. <laughs> That's a funny one. But civilization. Is what oh, I yeah. Syphilisation. I wrote there it. You go. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, it's not really what you think it is. It it doesn't even look like the story that they tell you doesn't even make sense. No. And if it did, there'd be one thing you would never wonder. Where are all the free people? They're giving people away for free? Well, I think you can get some nice people right now. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe they charge. Oh, I Charge. ain't. I ain't paying nothing for people. Ha 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 ha! I ain't gonna wow. do it, cause odds are you take it in the shorts. Wow. <laughs> That's not very good. <laughs> uh, we have to reroute that train. It ain't going in up the chocolate whiz way. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's what I mean. Is we've got a society of people that have been conditioned to believe that the most bizarre shit in life is fucking absolutely normal. Everybody does it. No, they fucking don't. Or you wouldn't be told that you want to do it. <laughs> you would be telling somebody else I want to do it, not being talked into doing it. You know you want to do it. Yeah. Do yeah. what? I don't know, I, but that's, I, a, that's the way it always works out. You know you want to do it. Just so do it. I, I'm scared. Oh, <laughs> oh! I'm just terrified, shaking in my boots. In boots. your boots? How many boots? You. Two. Oh, okay. But only when uh, I do the yard work. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, I see how you are. Uh, well, I've tried bringing up conversation, and you just keep joking. So I don't know what to say to you today. <laughs> You are the more you are more contrary than my wife. <laughs> and my wife has a license to do it, so I can see her point. <laughs> you, I don't get this. <laughs> How? Hey, we do a talk show. What do you want to talk about? Not with you. <laughs> well, when we did we get married over a weekend and nobody told me? <laughs> At one time at band camp. <laughs> and you're starting to talk like an American wife. I I I hate when that happens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna open up my magic box. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to think of something that you'll respond to with more than. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I have not done very good today. Oh. I failed my <laughs> alliance. Oh no. Oh well, you know there are times when life is just rough. When I start World War III, I'm telling you, I'm not going to invite you to it. You, you're not invited. You stay home. <laughs> well, it, it's just ironic, right? Here I live in this little quiet place at the end of the fucking world where nothing ever happens to anybody. Well, maybe not, never, but rarely does anything newsworthy ever take place. Let's say that, right? Ah, okay. But. In the electronic world, the mm-hmm. world is all a shambles and, oh, things are look a gloomy, Gus, outside the <laughs> windowsill. And then I do the dark table, and I don't know where you went. You, didn't, <laughs> you obviously went alone. <laughs> you did not invite me along on the ride. Well, you know. Sometimes I just plain don't feel like sharing the medication, you know? What kind of hostage are you anyway? Wow. Uh, I am a contrary my, one. My minions are going to, they're, they're going to just, I don't know. They're going to not minion for me and I'll be all alone in my kingdom ruling nothing. Wow. <laughs> Good Lord. Because that's how, you know, that's really how it all, how it really is. You know, if you're left alone mm-hmm. by society and other people that you don't really want pestering you anyway, mm-hmm. then, yeah, you're in your little kingdom and you're the king of what? <laughs> your privacy. <laughs> you and your partner. If you have a partner. Some people don't have partners. 
Ooh. I saw a fella writing on the RLM today that if a woman didn't have certain credentials, she wouldn't get near his fat ass wallet. Oh, no. But hmm. it's the same fucking concept. It's like saying, well, you, I won't pay you unless you can prove to me you don't need the money. <laughs> Like a bank. <laughs> oh, hey, that's an interesting yeah. concept. But see, that's how they do their relationships. You know, I won't, I won't fuck you unless you show me that you don't need my money. And you know, all the best relationships are spawned from that concept. <laughs> hmm. I, mm, you know, and there's there's people that I would much rather say I won't fuck you unless you prove to me that you don't need a fucking. <laughs> but. What? What? <laughs> that went over me, around me, under, all at the same time. That was like something out of the Hitchhiker's Guide. I just had my first pangalactic gargle blaster, and <laughs> my head hurts. Uh, okay, try that one again, Miss Mary. You're you're really baffling me today. <laughs> oh, life is good. Life is good. Yeah. Yeah. Because we try to have a fun on the dark table. Yes, we do. And Not occasionally I mess with your head. Boy, I'm, you're like a therapist from hell. <laughs> uh, the therapist, she has a whipping chair. <laughs> What's that for? <laughs> well, the, never mind. I can't tell that joke. My wife just came in from walking the dog. <laughs> Thanks, honey, for saving me. <laughs> Ooh, wow. wow. Yeah, well, you got me off track, and I'm all out of balance and, you know, <laughs> getting wacky and shit. Now I'm, I'm so yeah. confused. <laughs> That's going to leave a mark, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> on my forehead. <laughs> I bumped my head on the door again. <laughs> it's okay. Well, once upon a time, mm -hmm. when the world was younger... And people didn't act so fucking stupid. Life was a lot more comfortable. Oh. But. I like this life, story. Yeah. But life got uh, complicated by electronics and making things smaller. Oh. Yeah. Oh. These people, man, they fucked the pooch when they started all that shit. Oh, don't do that to the pooch. What the pooch do oh. to you? Look at that poor thing. It's going, hey, take it out of the box. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't there when they started this mess. I came in a, I came in mid-game. <laughs> <laughs> Moosey says I'm a dominatrix. <laughs> but, Silly Moosey. Tricks yeah. are for, well, wow. we'll just. <laughs> I guess there's more going on in your life than you've been telling me. <laughs> <laughs> I Always don't, the last to know. I don't share everything. Uh, you don't have to. <laughs> this girl just did it for you on the RLM. <laughs> right there in black and white. Actually, she was asking a question, but what the hell? <laughs> it sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, it's close enough. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have any black boots with spiky heels, but... It's an option. <laughs> hey, maybe if you're really nice, Hans will loan you his. Ooh. <laughs> I read a history book or two about Nazis. Let me tell you. I not want they, to see yeah, it. When they weren't zig heiling and going around, you know, destroying shit, they had some fucking really <laughs> nice boots. <laughs> yep. They spend a lot of time paying attention to those really nice black shiny boots. I know, and if you notice they were very good Oops. at at the chorus line kicking their legs up in unison. Damn, <laughs> they could have been members of the Rockettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw it. What movie was that called? The Producers, the yeah. first one. <laughs> That was priceless. Let's make a bomb. <laughs> we'll make more money off losing than we'll ever make off winning and then do the most tasteless fucking thing. And I'll bet there's more honesty in that than there is in all the history books put together. I'm sure. I'm sure. You know you know what I was informed of? What's that? About World War Two. 
What were you informed of? Well, I follow other people besides uh, history, you know, the his normal history buffs and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I heard a fella say once that the American money laid the railroad to um, in Poland to the death camps, which were really labor camps. Mm. They were not never intended to be death camps. Death camp stories were a way to distract you from finding out they were all about putting the attention on it was all about free labor for the wealthy. Ah. This side of the coin looks as Hitler as a useful tool for the bankers so that they could make these things for dirt wages beyond their wildest dreams. Well, and a lot of reason why they became um, death camps is because they had no, they'd cut off the food that. supply yeah. and all that other that fun stuff. Mean, so yeah, people were starving to death and they were freezing uh, to death right. because they had no no That's gas the for heating. That's the byproduct of the end of a war, Miss Mary. Not the intention, please. I know, but that's they that's how they to be. Well, yeah, but yeah. see, this is how you get the listener that doesn't fucking get it. This is how you get them stuck on stupid about death camps and all that crap. It, it, it had it was death is a byproduct of slavery. Well, death is period. a period. It's a byproduct of life. Period. No, 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 no. Not the way it's done to us today. Well, this uh, is a fucking. This is what I'm saying. I see this life way different than you. The people at, that run everything, they 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 treat us like a manufactured fucking product. We're not treated like people. We're treated like things. And that's the wonderful thing about these lovely AI sex bots, because it's going to just, re, <laughs> you know, it's going to, to reassert that, that, oh, it's oh. just a thing. It's just, yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah. like when you have a fling with someone, oh, it was just a thing that I had with them. Yeah. Well, yeah. Say that to my wife. She will not be happy. Ooh. Yeah, words are for programming. No, like that's not, and me neither. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not so much the um, conformist about everybody else has got to do what I got to do. I'm just stubborn about what I've got to do. And other people have labels or uh, identifying words to fit it mm -hmm. without really understanding what the hell I might mean in the first place. But they are only they only know what they think they see. Oh, yeah. Just like me. Well, just like we talk about all these political things, but we have our own personal experience somewhere in there. Political things. Ooh. Yeah, but see, you, you've you managed to um, not be Googled by the light. The light does not Google you anymore. You can look at the light and go, ah, I'm going to go weed some shit out in the yard. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. There are people that cannot look away from a Super Bowl show. Mm, yeah, I know. They don't and... watch the fucking reruns. They don't know what they're looking at. They have never been taught to identify things properly. It's not their fault. Yeah. And and argue against it all you want to. There's still people on the RLM that participate in it because it's there. And I'm saying if it wasn't there, what would you do? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Well... You'd be surprised how many people would not have or would not know what to do simply because, you know, it's like, whoa, now what do I do? I got, this is no longer working. What do I do? Well... No, no, no. What I mean is if there were no sports in, uh, arenas to go to to see these big teams play, you know, 60,000 crowds, mm -hmm. what would you do with that time instead? Of going to see all this shit. Um, oh, what would I do? I don't know. Because it, the act isn't, it's the society thing. It's not about the game. Oh, if you I want know to that. see the game, well, stay home and watch it on fucking 60 inch TV. If you want, if you want society, then you go to the game and you interact in society. Ah, yes. Right? But mm -hmm. it's so controlled and manipulated by the scum that think they own the color fucking blue that I don't see how it could be enjoyed anymore. I, I can't see that side of it. I'm just like, wow, you people are insane. 
But if I'm you ask them, they will a, tell you that they do own the color blue. Yeah, but I'm not going to sit in a car for two hours to drive somewhere and then stand in line for an, however long to get a seat, to sit down, and then not be able to see things unless I look on the big screen. I have fucking stay home and to do that. So it's not about the game at all. The game is the uh, illusion of what you're there for. Yeah. Yeah. They got people trapped in that because they know how to say, come to our game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I see that not very good things come from all that. But the rest of the world thinks I'm insane. It's like the basketball, college basketball is the biggest ripoff I've seen since banking. Well, maybe behind the church, too. It's pretty close. It's up there in the top five. You know, they, they make billions of fucking dollars gambling on these sports teams in college, but the <laughs> players can't earn any money while they're playing. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Well, what is uh-uh. it now that... Um, uh, can they... Can um, people that that participate in the Olympics, can they now be professional? Because I think they had yeah, some kind of shit. Yeah, they changed that rule. I read they changed that rule. Yeah. Professionals yeah. can participate in the Olympics now. Yeah. Well, I don't see what the difference would be. Be honest with you. If you're that fucking good, it doesn't matter if you're professional or not. You're good at it. doesn't matter what your title is. We're stuck on fucking titles like a bunch of idiots. Well, oh, where's your proof? I need to see your certificate. You know, fuck you. I can give you a certificate that says I can do it and still not be able to do it. Well, you know, I think the only difference between professional and non-professional is you get paid for playing oh, a game. It's an illusion. That's what I mean. You can't judge the the ability of somebody by their title. But we're trained you can. They said he's a professional. Well, they said he was a cocksucker too, but I met his wife. I don't think that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> so... A professional or a not professional, if you're that fucking good that you want to compete in that, there shouldn't be limits. Everybody should be welcome. That's what I'm trying to talk about all these times is we're segregated and separated and treat each other like shit. And that's normal now. Mm, Yeah, well, it's normal for some people. Uh, I think it's normal for every fucking buddy, and and what gives that away is the compliance to the state. Well, see, and that's where you think it's normal for every fucking body, and I do not. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think they're doing? I'm looking at the same world you're looking at to a point. So what do you think all these other people are doing in the world that's so important that if they stopped it, it couldn't be improved. Um, you know, I Ooh, there's a lot of her, huh? there's a there's a lot of things that that people could do that if they stopped doing it, things would be improved. <laughs> True. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. How are you gonna? Mm, you know, that's kind of sort know. of like All the whole quantitative is, easing kind of thing. We're going to do this, and, and everything's going to be better. And Really? I have not taken a step backwards towards the failures in life since I've known you guys. You know, I've made mistakes where I thought doing this would have been a good idea, and it turned out, well, doing that was probably the dumbest thing you could have done. But you have to do stuff to find out. You can't just assume all the time. Well, you might. I don't. Why? Well, now I'm married. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my contract. <laughs> this is yeah. Yes, it is Dead in your contract. Contracts. I'm t- yeah, but beyond the st- all that state shit, that's just me and Cirque being up, up and up with each other. It ain't really got much to do with anybody else. Oh, no. No. No, but that's... <laughs> My, the foundation of my position on society is who the fuck are you to tell me what always to do about everything and run things so poorly that your results don't, they don't uh, entice me. If you, if society is supposed to entice me to participate in it, it failed. 
Oh, and you know what? They're going to be really saddened by that. They're going to miss me at Starbucks. Oh, yes, they will. Because I can't be convinced of either side of the coin. Neither side will prove to me within a shadow of a doubt <laughs> if, when, and how, and who, and what. But they all got a story to tell you. And they all tell you the same crap. I'm telling you the truth. Wow. Maybe everybody's telling the truth. That Maybe. would really fuck it all up. Maybe, Maybe. it's round flat. <laughs> hey, it could be. Flat some parts, round in others. <laughs> Maybe it's like a snake. <laughs> some some parts are rounder. You know, it's like Yul Gibbons said. Many parts are edible. You know, some parts are rounder than others, and some parts are flatter than others. And I don't know. It starts wonderful arguments with strangers in restaurants. That's what I'm told on the RLM. Really? Sweet. Yes. Some lunatic guy on RLM brags about going to Starbucks to uh, unload on the left on the lefties and libtards. Ooh. And I think, well, why would you? Why would you want to go out into public to be abusive and abrasive on purpose? You know, what What good do you bring to wherever you're going doing that? It's what he lives for. Right, right, right. But see, it's setting, it's setting me, it's showing me something I want to know. Well, see, and it's, therefore, it's, there is some good coming out of that because you are learning, wow, this is behavior good? that I do not wish to emulate. So I have learned a lesson from this. No, no, I already knew the fucking lesson. I ain't the point. It's that there's some idiot out there willing to do this shit or brag about doing this shit when he ain't doing this shit. To keep the shit alive. That's the, the foundation of it's all an illusion. And whatever paying attention to people, them also keeps that shit alive. Yeah, but whatever you tell people is what they've got to work with. Yeah. So there's ways to listen or read about what people say that tells you more than what they're saying in words. There's identifying tells about people. How they feel, how they think. And now I didn't learn anything from this guy. I'm just like, he's so disappointing sometimes that I can't understand what he comes around for, except to be a pain in the balls. And that's not my norm. Ah, that's what it is. See, that's so abnormal to me now that doing it every week, it stands out. Ah, I it, see. Yeah, that negative, that negative attention. Mm hmm. Yeah, I didn't fall for it when it was a kid doing it to me, but when it's a grown-up doing it to me, it seems different. Mm-hmm. Well, I've never thought about it before. Uh, I'm working on it. Hey, see? Now you're thinking about things and stuff. Well, nah, I do that all the time. It's the the lack of wanting to possess things. That That letting go of, it's mine crap. Well, why do you want to... I don't keep my life together by, through enforcement. I, I keep it together because I just do shit. Oh. See how you are, bragger. Yeah. I do well, shit. Yeah. I just do stuff or I don't, but very little storytelling to, to entice the listener. Yeah. I get it done or I don't do it at all. Yeah, see how you are. Gosh, darn it all. I'm, I'm going to blame the Jews for that part. I think you should. Should, my, should I blame my mom? Yeah. Well, I could blame my wife, but she's not Jewish. No. Oh, well, she's by penetration, but <laughs> out, outside of that, <laughs> not a Jewish bone in her body. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I just told you. I don't want to know. I, it's not too a late. Jewish, not a Jewish bone You've in her body. You've been body. against your will, one way or the other, except... Damn you, it. I don't I know. know. Hey, number one was writing some really weird um, feet stories on the RLM the other night. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I thought he was cracking out on us. Oh. He was, he was making jokes about feet on the... RLM chat room. Ah. And I read it. 
And I went, wow. And I thought I had problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe no matter you how do. Bad you feel about yourself, there's always somebody out there that can make you feel gooder about yourself. Okay. Gooder. Okay. Yeah. Because I... they, they say there are people that have a very low self esteem. No steam in their steam. Yeah, very low steam. I say, hey, piss them off till they're fucking sweating and they'll feel steamy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could warm you up on a cold day <laughs> with <Hey>. words. <laughs> That's just but, creepy. Yeah, but I don't know. We do it in, in joke, you know, like in a joking fashion. And we, I don't think we pick on groups of people. Well, except maybe Americans, because that's because there really aren't any. Well, if you, if you understand the details to the level that it, I feel I understand them too, mm -hmm. and how they apply to reality in my life, mm -hmm. it's all yeah, it's all a bunch of crap. But if you're living in it and you're dependent on it for um, survival and whatnot, then it's real, and you're going to defend it. So attacking it ain't going to ever get us anywhere. What are we ever going to do? Befriending it just gets you more fucked. Wow. Kiss me, baby. I like to be kissed before I get fucked. <laughs> Never mind. I, I was, uh, that was, I was definitely a TMI moment. That was introducing the average Joe to the government. I don't... Uh, uh, oh, so that's... Okay, so the kissing is the pretty little lies that they... Okay. Okay, I get it now. I don't know. I, I really don't know how they appeal to the public is what, unless the public isn't appealed, but they're de they're desperate. They don't know what to do with that, like a child without its mommy, you know. I'm walking to the through the grocery store a couple of weeks ago. Uh huh. And I see this little boy, and he walks around, and I've seen lots of kids walk around the grocery store unattended, you know, and they're just getting something to go meet their parents. Mm -hmm. This little kid looked me in the face and I thought he was going to start to cry. Are so, you that scary? No, no, no. The kid was lost. Oh. I went, holy fuck. He must have got separated. And didn't know. It's a big store for a seven, eight year old kid. Mm -hmm. Well, but he's Danish and I speak English. Oh. So I got one of the girls that worked at the store that speaks Danish and English to help the kid out. See how you are. See, you're not such a bad guy. And then on the other side of the store, I ran into the mom and the brother that were looking for the kid that was lost. Oh. So, yeah, shit like, see, common sense. You just got to know what direction to point. Instead Communication. Of, yeah, instead of calling the cops and saying, this kid's lost here. Oh, <laughs> speaking of that, one time a big guy in his... Little kid, we're at, uh, at the checkout, and he's bagging his groceries before he's paid for them. Mm -hmm. You know, you but you bag them as you go, and then at the end, you put your card in the machine and, and so on. As he's doing the card thing, his little boy decides to run out to the front of the store. And the poor guy just didn't think, hey, just drop, drop the fucking card on the thing and go get the kid. He was, like, moving physically back and forth like he couldn't decide what to do. Child is much more important, dear. Right. Yeah. Okay. But panic is a motherfucker. Yes, it is. And it will make the most normal human being act like a complete bozo at an inappropriate time. Oh, yeah. But it's not It's not permanent. It's not like, well, that's the way they always are. That's the way the guy reacted at that moment. It threw him so bad he couldn't figure out what to do. Whoa. It took him a little bit to get his shit together for whatever reason. But there was none of this um, police and, oh, child neglect and all that kind of shit. They leave their kids out in the strollers out in front of the stores. Yeah, well, see, there are places where you don't have to worry about your stuff getting swiped when you do oh, that. Oh, God, yeah, see, worry about your mm, Here we go with that. <sighs> That's because big cities breed thieves. That's what they're for. The little thief that does the street shit hides the big thief that does the shit in a suit. Ah. Oh. 
So average Joe is lo- so busy looking at that. Oh, these tweakers under a bridge on the internet camera. Look at these bad fuckers and how they live and blah, blah, blah. But they don't never pay attention to the horrible shit these bankers do to all of us equally. Yeah. Well, they purposely misdirect us by look at this and look at that and the war and this and the other. And the truth of it all is if you just go, hey, we're being fucked here, people. Tell them no, 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 no. Where does that go? Mm. I'm telling you, I, Graham was saying that this morning, you know, where have I stood all these years on chemtrails? I've always said it's all bullshit. And I agree with that, too. But how many of us, uh, let alone agree with it, how many people are willing to agree with it out loud? <laughs> uh, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Well, then how come they don't? If I'd be fucking surprised, surprise me. Well. I just said it. It's all a bunch of hocus bullshit. Every fucking thing that you hear from the goddamn government is based on a lie. All of it. Um, yeah. Based on. Doesn't mean that the end is the end might handle you and your kernel. It might be ten percent true and ninety percent bullshit. And your job is to figure out what ten percent is true. What? Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm gonna do it. And society frowns on that and says, "Well, you're not gonna comply." Hmm. Yes, you are an uncompliant what? little bastard. Yeah. What is wrong with you? That you won't comply with our murderous, treacherous fucking game that we play. I I don't know what's wrong with me. I just don't want to play that game. Well, you know whose side society takes, don't you? They're a little messy. Uh-huh. The banker's side. Oh, yeah. Because they're afraid of going out with electricity. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Well, if there's that kind of control over people in society that they're terrified to go without their power, then you don't need much more. That That's your weapon right there. Oh, My yeah. weapon of choice would be control, power control. Yeah. Well, it's now not, they, yeah, it's not hard got, to, con- if you know, if you know somebody's Achilles heel, it's not hard to tweak it, if you know what I mean. Right, but see, they haven't yet. They've done it to the poor people a couple of times through the, uh, you know, the BET cards and shit like that, just to see what would happen. You know, like they were experimenting with it. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, you had a glitch. You made a glitch. Yeah. Because my banking fucking works 24 hours a day with the exception of no available electricity. Okay. Mm-hmm. If there's power running, this shit works. So. When it doesn't work, it's because the bank stopped it from working. Yeah. Okay, there you go. You just need electricity. And all these crappy fucking stories they tell us in the middle are for the slow people that believe whatever they're told. Yeah, they're just crappy fucking stories. Well, maybe maybe so, but they're working. And they oh, yeah. have worked, and they'll always work, and we'll always be the fringe going, hey... Don't you guys notice the it's still in the box? <laughs> oh, but it's no. How can you notice it's still in the box? That's just not right. Because it's shoved so far up their ass that you think they would fucking notice that it's in a box, too. It's not just, yeah, it's like society is okay with being fucked. Yeah. And anybody I ever argue with, I, it's always an argument. Well, you can't do with it. Yeah, you can then why don't you? Because I'm not independent enough to not use it. Now, if push came to shove, I I would adapt. Okay. Well, I have the ability because when I was growing up as a child, you know what we didn't have? What? Internet. Oh, well, yeah. Didn't have internet. And electric toys to tinker with to... Uh, pass the time and play with we had to do other shit we had to make stuff and build stuff and repair stuff you know do shit I remember not having TV so yeah exactly there you go 
But well, my my folks were pretty liberal with the TV, but it never hooked. It didn't didn't hook me the way it seems to have hooked other people. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I've had bartender friends that I would you know uh, go visit at their job and be told, "Hey, hold on, I'm watching Dancing with the Stars." I went like, "What? <laughs> You're fucking what?" <laughs> mm. yeah. Well, I got to watch this episode. It's like people that you would never assume would be interested in this shit would do it at work. Ooh. Ooh. But, well. I mean, well-tuned people, well-tuned individuals, we all got our little electronic quirks because they've been in our face all our life now. You know, all our adult life. We didn't grow up with them. So if they're gone, we're, we have abilities to replace the time spent electronically. Yeah. Where the people that are electronic don't know how to use their hands to do shit. They can't tie shoelaces. No. Well, that's because someone invented Velcro. They made I'm life saying, easier. Yeah. And so people uh, actually... Yeah. More petroleum for you to play with. Oh, yeah. good for you. Yeah. It's good for you. Wow. Yes, it is. It's very well, good I, for you. Whenever I'm told something's good for me, I always have to wonder. Hmm. Or at least listen to the source. You know, who's telling it to me would make a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, but it's good for you. You uh, I it, would, you I like would it. say, yeah, I would say that I wouldn't take advice from some. Ooh, I got a lixor at the end of the show. Ah, the Yay! elixir lady. See how you Broken. are. You are so lucky. Yeah. Broken fingers took Hannibal for a, a big long one. Cool. Down to, down to the beach area of the whatever neighborhood, whatever this is. Cool. I know life is so tough. Uh, I don't know. Yep. Well, yeah. Some Sometimes life is tough. You know, there's a lot of people out there that... that don't have puppies that they can go for a walk with and then life would be tough <laughs> right well see and then again with all the the wants and the likes and the dislikes and preferences it's just chopped up so small that things matter that shouldn't matter well yeah and that's that's the that's the training and that's pretty much you know i've uh, i've been reading my my ringing cedars books and oh, that, and that's pretty good. much what Anastasia says too. She says, you know, because uh, Vladimir was asking her because all of these people have been writing to him and wanting to mm. know um, uh, a better system for raising their children and all that fun stuff. And she keeps telling him, and he's just not getting it that the system, best system to raise your t- children is to not have a system. You know, yeah. it's to yeah. let your children discover on their own. You know, and it's called stop, nature. Yeah, yeah and tra- stop trying to feed all of your preconceived notions into them. Let them find out for themselves. Well, well, how did it get hijacked to the point it's gotten to now? I mean, a month ago, there was all this hoopla about gun rights in America, and some kid started, I don't know, some big gun law movement or something, and it's all gone, and, and it's over. It's what? because it lost traction and people started making fun of it and making names or memes of him and all that fun shit. And it's the the thing is, is in the public eye, it may have lost traction, but they're still doing shit behind the scenes. But that's always the way things are going to be. There's always going to be something going on behind the scenes that they don't want you seeing. And therefore, they create more distractions because look at the shiny bobble. Yeah, but they call it. Uh, what do they call that? Uh S- it's uh, magic. Fuck you. Yeah. Well. Yeah. National. national security. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, it yeah. translates to the same thing in the end of the game, but my words sounded better for a change. <laughs> hey, there you go. Oh, 
You've been a tough cookie today, Cookie. I don't know what a crazy idea got into you. Uh, I was. You're very hard to talk to today. I Ooh. was well before the show. I was outside and I was watering my trees and I was wandering around oh. the yard. And then next thing you know, I had a squirrel moment and I was pulling weeds. And no, they're oh, not well. weeds. They're uninvited guests. That's what they are. I was removing uh, uninvited uh, guests. Removing. Yes. You murderer. Well, dandelionist. Now they are uh, going to become compost, type. and they they will bring yeah. life giving energy and resources to other things. Well, that's what I was saying last week. If if we lived in a fashion that was actually normal and good for us, we'd be too busy to do all this other bullshit in the first place. Yeah. See, modern convenience made slaves out of us, so that we wouldn't think for ourselves, and it worked. Yeah. Join a mm-hmm. join a side, pick a team, you know, be a be somebody. Mm, I am somebody. No. And this well, somebody is busy with squirrel moments and all that kind of other fun stuff. So uh, apparently more so than usual. <laughs> yeah. I like going uh, squirrel. Squirrel. Boy, what got into you today? I told you I was out in nature. Out in nature? What what is it like? Is this like the result of illicit drugs? No, this is the result of playing in the dirt, which from what I've been reading, playing in the dirt is kind of, kind of sort of like a drug. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, sure, Earth, of course, would yes. be. But, again, back to what we've been indoctrinated with and what's true is two different things. Mm-hmm. Wow, everything. Well, there you go. I've been saying it for a long time like Mr. Grimner. So, at least, you know, if nothing else, we're at least in good company. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, the stories that I hear from Grimm, I go, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the stories yeah. I, I, you know, I see from other people that I don't see eye to eye with so much, I don't see their stories. I don't open them. <laughs> well. <laughs> nah, I, I don't even look. I mean, there's a time to look at your opposition, and there's a time where the opposition is just a bunch of bullshit. It's not real. Well, sometimes you have to look at the opposition just to ensure that, that, yeah, it's still bullshit. Because every once in a while, every once in a while. Nah, I could go into a coma, wake up in 50 years and wake up and the first thing out of my mouth would still be, that's all bullshit. (laughs) Probably. Probably. Yeah, there's no turning back for me. I've been doing this forever, so it's like a staple part of it. Oh, that's Poor okay. Poor Cirque. Yeah, because, you know, I'm a very nice guy when I'm a very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> but when I'm a very not a nice guy, I'm usually a talking about something. <laughs> oh, see? You're a nice guy when you're not talking. I I'm see how you, you are. I'd have been a fucking hellacious lawyer. I would have raped you, every one of you mofos with every word I could muster. Because I know the truth about law. You know what that is, right? Yeah. It's all bullshit. Oh, yeah. It is. It is. And that's okay. Did you ever get all the way through all your voids? Yeah, it was a very unproductive. And I even tried using a Bob Newhart thing. Stop it or I'll bury you alive in a box. <laughs> mm. Those I, were the I don't words remember. I... I don't remember you saying bury. Oh, yeah, I do, because I said dangle. Yeah, oh, it's a different kind of berry. Okay. (laughs) See, the way something, you know, the way something sounds can completely change your interpretation of it. Okay, but but we'll try it again next time, but I'll, I'll use something, again, different. But that's the point, is you, you say the same word, and it, it's got four different meanings depending on how it's spelled. And the listener doesn't know which word, which word you're using, just like in court. Yeah, there, there, and there. If you don't know the definition of the word being used at the moment, what are you listening to? <laughs> yeah, well, well, that's yeah. what the lawyer's for. You ever meet a gang that let you in on their secret? I never did. No, I never wanted to be a member of a gang, so I okay, tried uh, to stay uh, away from uh, them. All right. But the law, the bar association is a fucking gang. And if you're not in their gang, what are you doing there? 
Uh, I don't know. I prefer our gang because they were silly and they were fun and we tried to recreate a lot of the shit that they did once we finally got a TV and got to watch it. Uh, you're inspiring <laughs> a remake of the He-Man Women Haters Club. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I got I got two guys that I can probably hire to be the president. Cheap. They work they'll work for coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about uh, your juke moment. <laughs> I'll, I'll be Darla and I'll crash the joint. How's that sound? Oh, oh, oh that would be a lot of fun. Take your camera. <laughs> and do your impression of a libtard and make sure it's on camera. I want to see it on YouTube. Ooh, that would be. <laughs> you in a Starbucks getting bitched out by a Nazi for being a libtard. <laughs> oh. <I'll> be priceless. <laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind. You know what? We're out of time. Lucky you. I know. Interpretation. <laughs> uh, I'm going to think ahead for the next show, and I'm going to come up with a brain teaser. Okay. Okay. Well. Thanks for playing, everybody. Yeah, and I will be here next weekend, but for the two following weekends, I will not be around. I got no, you get family things. Family things. Oh, that explains so much. Okay. Yes. Yes. What's? Oh yeah. I talk to you later. Cha cha. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh well. Y'all been listening to the Dork Table here on RealLibertyMedia dot com. Table. Be sure to stick around because I'm sure there's something else going on. JJ's might even pop on to play some music, although I don't know that he's home. And tomorrow at noon is Grimner <laughs> with the blues and probably a rousing game of Trivial Pursuit in the sure, chat. Yeah. And directly following Grim will be Hal Anthony, who's going to open up a can of whoop-ass on yo ass. And directly, well, not directly following that, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Gary Ellen Gigi's boo with the road less traveled. So, yeah, 